What's up, guys? My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we are reacting to 50 things that are only possible in Australia. Which I have no idea what that means. I don't either. And how are you going to put 50 things in 10 minutes? We are about to find out. Yes. Let's go ahead and hop into this and let's find out. Yeah. Okay, it's pop quiz time. Pop quiz. Which country has the longest fence in the world? Australia. Uh, New Zealand. <laughs> no, you know what's funny? My son loves this channel. Really? Yes. <laughs> About the second largest Greek population. Uh, Florida. Um, three times more sheep Small than country. people. Okay, one word will give it away. Kangaroos. Yeah. I'm oh, Jamaica. About the land down <laughs> under. So, what do you know about Australia? So, let's start with the name. Australia comes from the Latin word Australis, which means southern. Hmm. Way back in the second century, there were legends of a mysterious Terra Australis incognita, or unknown southern land. Well, now it's very known, so let's get to know more about it. Despite the stereotypes of hot, sunny weather year-round, the Australian Alps, which are the highest mountain range in the country, hmm. get more snow than the Swiss Alps do. <laughs> Better grab your skis. <laughs> it's loud. That's crazy, I had no Is idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the world's longest national highway is in Australia. It stretches for over 9,000 miles. Wow. Wow. For comparison, the Earth's diameter is about 7,900 miles. It's actually a uh, network of highways that connects all <laughs> capitals say, of how the mainland states. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm sure you've heard of the Great Wall of China, but what about the Great Fence of Australia? Okay, that's not what it's called, but still, the Dingo Fence in Southeast Australia stretches for nearly 3,500 wow. miles. For comparison, it would easily cover the entire span of the U.S. from Los Angeles to Houghton, Maine. Dang. Now, it might not be so surprising to know that Australia is huge. It's about the same size as the continental U.S., about 2,500 miles wide. The distance from the west to east coast is further than Barcelona to Moscow. Wow. In all, Australia is the world's sixth largest country and the only one that's also a whole continent. But with all that territory, over 80% of Australians live within 60 miles of the coast. I don't blame them. This makes the <laughs> no. country one of the most coastal dwelling populations in the world. And that means a whole lot of beaches. In fact, they have so many that if you decided to visit a new beach every day, it would take you almost 30 years to see them all. I'm okay with that. I want to do that. Last 30 years of my life, I'd be okay with that. Every day going to a new beach. Now, you guys, if you haven't seen any of our other videos, we are, uh, we're, we're beach people. We're fish people. We, we're, we, like, we are ocean people. We should be fish. Or water people. Just water. We like water. I, I'd take a pool if I didn't have any other option. <laughs> yeah. Take In a fact, bathtub. I'm going to the pool after this. <laughs> yeah. The biggest property in Australia is about 40,000 square miles in area. Wow. South Korea could fit into it with room to spare. The country's termites are busy building huge properties as well. Their mounds are the tallest animal-made structures on this planet. Before humans arrived, the continent was home to megafauna. If you lived there about 46,000 years ago, You'd be dead today. Oh, but true. you would have seen 10 foot tall kangaroos, wow, 23 foot long up. goanna lizards, and ducks the size of an adult horse. No way. Quack, quack. That's the crazy. largest living structure on the planet is King the Kong Australian Godzilla. Great yeah. Barrier Reef. That's insane. By That's the way, really cool. it has its own mailbox. And there's a rumor that the fish there use eel mail. Yeah. <laughs> Neither kangaroos nor emus can walk backward. That's a fact. And that's why they're painted on the Australian coat of arms. Keep moving forward. The platypus cool. yeah. and what, what, egg laying mammal. Uh, emus and kangaroos can't walk okay. backwards. So I learned about the emus because of one of our comments from our uh, other videos. Mm -hmm. Now, the kangaroo thing, have you ever heard of Daniel Tosh? Mm -hmm. he, he has a joke about, uh, well, it's not really a joke. He's like, kangaroos can't hop backwards. And he's like, it's not a joke, it's just true. And one day you're going to be out somewhere in, in the outback and you're going to say, get behind him. He can't go backwards. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay. I, I didn't know if it was actually factual or true, but now it's been answered. So well, good to know. 
platypus. All that lives only in Australia is one of the rare venomous mammals on this planet. Luckily, while the venom has an excruciatingly painful effect on people, it's not lethal. Thank God. The takeaway, don't fuss with a platypus. I don't think that's I the no choice platypus of words. The first platypus was brought poisonous. to England. I actually people there were sure had that it was heard a that. I think it was from this channel. The English believe that Australians had sewn a duck's no. bill onto a rat's bill. It's when we researched uh, the most venomous animals, uh, venomous animals from, uh, because we were talking, we've said it on the, one of our other videos about Australia. I was like, because we were talking about Australia, and I was like, dude, everything's going to kill us there. I don't want to go. Yeah. Uh, but then he was, and I was like, I wonder how many venomous animals we have here in Texas, because I think as a state, we kind of have the same landscape because we do have really green areas. We have areas that get snow, and then we also have like deserty areas. And I think there's only like, for like venomous animals, not deadly venomous animals, uh, there's only like 10 more actual venomous animals in or species i don't know what yeah. it said in australia than there is in texas right and it mentioned platypus and i was like hmm phineas and ferb had it good then yeah they didn't get messed with <laughs> so live and learn body to play a trick on them yeah right up until he bit them not laughing now are you swimming in the surf during the day had been illegal in australia up until 1902 but after one guy calmly entered the waves of Manly Beach one afternoon that year, surf bathing became increasingly popular. Mm. The largest Greek population outside of Greece itself is in Australia. Actually, to be more precise, in Melbourne. More than 160,000 people who live there say they come from Greek descent. Well, wow. Melbourne was the richest city in the world in 1880. These days, Tokyo, Japan yeah. holds this title. And until 2018, Melbourne had been rated as the most livable city in the world for seven years in a row. Cool. But then it was bumped down to second place after Vienna, Austria. Come on, Melbourne, <laughs> get back in the game. Yeah, number two. One of Melbourne's Ooh. founders was John Batman. Yep, that was his real John name. John Batman. And get this, the city was temporarily I'm called Batman. Batmania. Too bad they decided to change it to Robinville. Nah. <laughs> In 2018, he's Australia the dad. He is, yeah, I was about to say, he is like loaded with dad jokes. Yeah. I love this. We're away in Switzerland on the Human Development Index. This index is based on education, life expectancy, and citizens' income. Basically, they got a good thing going down under there. Down under there. In 2005, security guards at the Parliament House in Canberra were prohibited from calling people mate. But the ban only lasted for a day, mate. Good day. <laughs> If you're ever in Western Australia, you can visit wow. one of their many super salty pink lakes. Wow. They get the bubblegum hue from a certain type algae. of algae yep. and bacteria. Comments and I learned. And totally safe to swim in. Just be careful what you chew. Oh, and be sure to take a selfie while you're swimming in what looks like a giant pool of Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> you can thank Australia for coming up with the word selfie oh, in the first place. I did not know that. There are about 74 million sheep to 25 I do my best not to ever Australia, say it though. Yeah. Which makes an impressive ratio of selfie. three to one. Only China and India have more than that. Oh, three to and one the kangaroo ratio thing is cheap. totally true. There are twice as many kangaroos as there are people there. Wow. That's 50 to 25 million. That's kind of scary. Speaking of which, <laughs> when a babe. Did you know that two for one is 50 versus 25? <laughs> that is, uh, that's a little terrifying though. Kangaroos are pretty scary. <laughs> so. Just out of curiosity, I don't know. Do y'all hunt or eat kangaroo? Because that's a huge population. That is a huge population. and I, I would think if it was in America, we would be hunting kangaroo. Are kangaroo attacks common? Good question. I'm curious about that too. There was a viral video going around uh, on TikTok recently of this kangaroo reaching through a fence. Oh, yeah. Jacked. At this guy, and he was just jacked. Like, he couldn't even put his arms down. He was just grabbing this guy. Yeah. It was insane. Yeah. So I'm not on Maybe TikTok my born. It's only <laughs> I watch but I saw it. Yeah. It's also hairless Don't and lie. totally pink. Kind of looks like a gummy bear. What else I is there in that. Australia? Yeah. Kangaroo is born. It's only half twice as many kangaroos as there are people there. That's 50 to 25 million. Speaking of which, when a baby kangaroo is born, it's only half an inch long. 
It's also hairless and totally pink. That's this is crazy. It looks like a gummy bear. That is what insane. else is there in Australia? Oh, that's right, koalas. <laughs> and to top that, there are 10 times more camels than koalas. Wow. Australia is the source of a lot of the Middle East's camels. I have no idea about now, that. Now, in Western Australia, it's against the law to be in possession of more than 110 pounds of potatoes. <laughs> well, every country has its obscure, bizarre laws. So I wonder if they would... Act, that's what I was about to ask. I wonder if they would actually... Uh, like Enforce it? Enforce it, I mean, yeah. it's a law. Well, we have stupid laws, too, that nobody enforces. Does anybody know the reason for that law? I'm guessing it has to do with like uh, at one point like they were there was like the great potato sort shortage or something like that you know what I mean uh, but yeah the potato depression the great potato depression the architect of the world famous Sydney Opera House got the idea of this unique construction while munching on an orange if you combine all the sails of the building's uh, roof I see you'll it. get a perfect sphere <laughs> yeah. I see it. The most ancient fossils in the world were found in Australia. They were no less than 3.4 billion years old. Wow. Even older than my leftovers in the fridge. <laughs> there are so many different <laughs> species in this country that only 25% of them have been discovered so far. It's really wow. fat giraffe. Of the animals discovered to be native to Australia, none have hooves. That's Burger odd. King miraculously turns into hungry jacks. I guess... Uh, what are they called? The they are they said it. Um, Hooves. Well, I guess a lot of the animals are clothed, or what do they call them when they have the? Well, those are hooves. Those are hooves. I mean, it would be considered a clothed hoof. So are camel hooved? I don't know. Huh. I think. I don't know. Camels have feet. I think. I'm pretty sure like they do have feet. feet. Oh, yeah. No, I'm kidding. That'd like, be so ugly. Like monkey feet. <laughs> <laughs> they climb, too. You just don't know it. They yeah. don't do it when people are watching. Yeah. As soon as you land in Australia, it's the Aussie franchise of the famous fast food chain. Australia is a unique continent that doesn't house any active volcanoes. Mm, that's good. It's also the flattest continent on our planet. But it's got plenty of mountains. And one of them is called Mount Disappointment. <laughs> it's just 2,600 feet tall. It's only seven feet tall. Explorers William Hovell and Hamilton Hume expected to see a great view from the top. However, after climbing the mountain, they discovered that there were too many trees growing on top wow. and blocking the view completely. That's disappointing. Guess how the men felt. Uh huh. Put all that Australia effort has climate. tons of unique flora and fauna species that you won't find anywhere else in the world. Among those are a staggering 1,500 spider species. Mm -hmm, no. Spider species. Not me. Yeah. It's not for me. On the bright side, and we are. Too. Well, some of them are fatally poisonous. Most are completely harmless. That's But how do still I tell freaky. them apart? Oh, the poisonous ones wear signs. <laughs> Got it. It's also where you'll find 21 of the world's top 25 most venomous snakes. Wow. More than 90% of Australia is covered with some kind of vegetation. Since 1988, Australia has had a national floral emblem, and it's the golden wattle. When this plant blooms, it gets covered with the country's national colors, green and gold. That's cool. That's Australia cool. is a multinational country with more than 200 different languages and dialects spoken there. The most popular non-English languages are Mandarin, Greek, Arabic, Vietnamese, and Cantonese. I could see a lot of that. I don't know about the UNESCO Greek, but the rest of it makes a lot of in sense. in Australia, including 12 natural sites, three cultural sites, and four mixed sites. The difference between Australia's total length and its width... What is... Um, um, I would assume a mixed site is a natural site mixed with a... Uh, the other one, he said. How, what is that? Though? I have no idea. <laughs> that one has me so confused. <laughs> is only 200 miles. Hey, do you have an eight hour working day? You can thank Australian stonemasons for that. Thank you. In 1865, they demanded to make eight hour shifts. You don't have eight hour standard, work days in this country? And it spread throughout that? the world from there. With eight people per square mile, Australia has an extremely low population density. For comparison, 
fact, there are about 93 people per square mile in the U.S. The National Australian Airline, Qantas, uses recycled cooking oil to power its interstate flights. Wow. So, have I missed any cool facts about Australia? Possibly. Let me know down in the I comments. I wouldn't know. If you learned something new today. Let us know if there's <coughs> some other interesting facts about... Uh, Australia. Well, I was about to say uh, the land down under, but this, he, he can joke about it. I, I'm not going to... Australia. Let's yeah. know if there's any, any facts that you guys would like to share with us about Australia. Uh, this was a very informative video. I feel like he didn't say 50 things. It feels like he said like 20 things. Yes. But, I mean, he went through them quick. Yeah. Like, some of the stuff was confusing. But at the same time, he was, again, he was jamming 50 things in 10 minutes. Yeah. No, it's... It, and it was half an awesome, of them were dad jokes. It was an awesome video, though. Uh, obviously, we would like to travel to Australia when we can. Uh, it's on beautiful. the list. Yeah, it's, sure. it's on the list. Uh, but let us know, like I said, in the comments, if there's any facts or, I guess, odd things that are only in Australia. That would be cool to know. I know laser beams on Australia. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Same for... Uh, it's funny because, like, I would say a huge portion of the people that I watch on YouTube are either in Australia or Canada. Yeah. Like, a very small percentage is here in the U.S. Yeah. And one of them is Brit, like the slow mo guys. One, uh, I think it's Gavin. He's British that lives in Austin. Mm hmm. But it, it's just funny because most of the people I watch aren't even here. Yeah. As big as a, as a, big population as we have it's like all the creative people are not here anymore <laughs> so anything else you want to add mm -mm. all right with that being said my name is miles my name is fez thanks for watching guys peace out